Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing great. You know, sometimes my videos are inspired by your comments and this is one of those videos. Last time when I posted a video about uh, what a TTY is, I got this comment and I thought this topic could make a good video. If you have ever used a TTY console, uh, you probably have noticed that the font on TTY is usually quite a bit smaller than the font you have on your graphical terminal emulator. And if you've ever changed the font on your terminal emulator, then you probably also have noticed that it has no effect on the font inside TTY. So here, for example, the font I'm using is set and preferences, and I have a few profiles. So that profile, for example, has a font set to fear code yeah. nerd font um, in size 16. But if I were to try and set this font for the TTY console, it would not work. But why this is the case? And so in this video, my goal is to answer this question, as well as to demonstrate to you how to change the font inside your TTY, either permanently or just temporarily, depending on your use cases. And also when making this tutorial, I came across a couple of interesting problems that I would like to share. So now back to the topic of why I could not use my preferred font for the graphical terminal uh, inside a TTY. Well, there are two types of fonts, and the first type is the so-called bitmap fonts, and the second type are the more modern scalable uh, fonts like TTF, or true type fonts, or OTF, open type fonts. Well, the bitmap fonts are more like a stamp, made of fixed number of pixels for each character, so that the pure text mode console like a TTY can display them. But for modern scalable fonts, like Fira Code Nerd font that I showed you before, um, there's a single file that stores, so to speak, a recipe for that font. And within your graphical session, your display server uses that recipe to apply the proper scaling to the font and display it on the screen, whichever screen it uses, be it small screen, large screen, um, the scaling happens so that the font looks nice and crisp on every display. And if you're curious to know about more how this scaling happens, take a look at the video that I made a couple of months ago about scaling and rendering on Wayland. And so now the main difference between these two fonts is that the fonts of the type bitmap that are meant for TTY use, they live outside of your graphical desktop session, while the scalable fonts are used inside the graphical session. And that's the main difference. I mean, TTY is a pure text mode. It doesn't have access to the display server. And so it can't use the uh, scalable fonts just like you can use them on your regular terminal emulator. And that's the main reason why changing a font on the TTY, if you want it to be larger, you have to choose a font that has been designed from the get-go with more pixels per character. Yeah, so that every letter and character can be shown larger. And you'll see that in a moment. So now that we clarified the difference between the two types of fonts, we can go ahead and change our font on a TTY console to something that is more pleasing to the eye um, or more comfortable to the eye. Okay, so now let's go to a TTY. First of all, let's log in. So the very first thing we want to check is what file is set as a default. And you can do that by finding the configuration file, which is typically stored in the location like that. Whatever you see here is the only thing that that file contains. And the font is Euro Latin Greek. Um, and it looks like it's the default font for Fedora uh, in Linux, maybe even for other um, Red Hat based uh, Linux distributions. I'm not too sure. But it doesn't matter. This is what that font looks like, and we want something larger. The next thing to do would be to double check which fonts are available to us. And for that, we need to find that directory that holds those font files. And if you're not sure where that is located, you can easily find it by searching for it. And to do so, we can do sudo find user type the name console fonts. Okay, so we found that directory. So now we can um, 
go ahead and list all the font files in that directory. And there you go. These are all the font files that you can use. And now we just and pick one that we like. I'm going to pick probably the largest so that the demonstration effect will be more dramatic. But um, you pick something that's more comfortable for you. Uh, you can always try first setting it temporarily and then if you like it, you can set it permanently. I picked a font that I thought will be a nice demonstration. Uh, which is called solar 24 by 32. So to change things temporarily, we can do sudo set font. And I'm sorry if this is too small, but after the change, it's going to be much larger. So we're going to set sudo set font, and then we're going to reference that font name that we have found in that directory. So this is quite large. And uh, actually here is that default font we saw in the configuration file. Now this is a temporary change. And uh, as soon as I reboot the system or reboot my virtual machine, the console font will go back to that Euro Latin Greek I had before. Uh, to make the change permanent, we would need to go into that configuration file we opened before and change the font name to the something that we like. To modify the configuration file, we do sudo nano, so the simplest text editor you can have, and then um, open the configuration file. <laughs> well, the font is so large that that short line doesn't fit into the single line there. Okay, so now we are inside that configuration file, and what we need to do now is to change that name to something that we like. So this is the font that's currently displayed. Um, so control X to save. Yep. Okay. So that thing is saved and um, I'll exit the console. Um, so now, as you can see that first logging screen is way more readable. The font is huge actually. Um, it's probably not practical to use that big of a font, but it's possible to change it. Now, if I were to reboot my system, because I'm inside a virtual machine here, actually the permanent change would not apply. I learned it when I was making this tutorial, went through all the settings changes and rebooted the system. And when I came back to it, it was still the same. And this is one of the problems I came across that I mentioned in the beginning of the video is that if you try to permanently change your TTY font when you're working inside a virtual machine, it won't work. You can do so uh, temporarily, but you cannot modify the config file and expect it to stick around after reboot. But that does work on a Linux machine, like if you not inside a TTY. Like I confirmed this on my university workstation um, the other day. I went through the whole uh, process that I just showed you. I rebooted the system and the font was changed permanently. And so that's how you would change the TTY font either temporarily or permanently. I'll leave all the commands that I used in this video in the first comment uh, pinned under this video so that you can try it yourself if you like. I hope this was helpful and I've learned a few things myself when I was making this video, which is always good. And that's it. Have a nice day, guys. See you soon.